The polar vortex. Well, it's just the air that goes around the pole. And here we've got it usually slips into Canada. But this time, and this time right now, we are getting it all the way into the United States. It does not happen all that often for that kink in the jet stream to allow it. That's why we're having the coldest air in decades. And perhaps you've heard this before, but this morning, Minneapolis, 22 below. The surface of Mars last week was 20 below. So it's actually colder. This is what happens when you leave your refrigerator in your garage and the temperature dips below 20 below in Minnesota. It all explodes. People this morning dealing with temperatures, my friends, that are 20 to 30, even 40 and 50 below. A real quick look at wind chills, 50 below the wind chill in International Falls. It feels like 45 below in Minneapolis and Chicago. 39 below. That's where we find Gio Benitez. Good morning, Gio. Ginger, good morning to you. That temperature is dropping fast. 10 below zero here in Chicago. You just said it with that wind chill. 39 below zero. And these are temperatures we haven't seen here in decades. Dangerous and life threatening. Air so cold, frostbite can attack in as little as five minutes. The wind chill in Minneapolis hitting a breathtaking negative 60 degrees. Lake Michigan frozen solid. Icebreakers there are being called in to clear the way for freighters. In Bloomington, Minnesota. My window froze up on the inside, so I had to scrape it off so I could see to drive home. Fire crews in Omaha, Nebraska, just praying their uniforms won't turn to ice. Once they get wet and that begins to freeze, it becomes a problem. Where it's not the cold, it's the relentless snow. Overnight, St. Louis slammed with the most snow they've seen on this day in more than 30 years. Dangerously slick roads and whiteout driving conditions from Oklahoma to Illinois, creating ice road turmoil. Even members of the Southern Illinois University men's basketball team found themselves stuck on the side of the road. The visibility actually just went to zero. He asked the bus driver to pull over to the side of the road, and when he did, we couldn't get back onto the road. One of America's busiest airports shutting down for two hours after an airplane skid off an icy runway at JFK Airport. And here I was planning to use this spray bottle as a prop, but within 15 minutes, the water inside just rose, and many of our iPhones have already died within minutes, George. Oh, boy, Gio, thank you. You can even see his lips are freezing a little bit right there.